Hi, if you have a WordPress WooCommerce website and you are collecting your payments through PayPal. So I have already installed WooCommerce plugin as well as PayPal plugin. So on the PayPal receipt, you will find that you will get some order details like here. You can see that we have static product title as well as here down below you will get static description. So both these things sometime you are interested to pass only in the PayPal receipt uh, little different as compared to your product uh, actual title and actual description. So for example I am previewing uh, this specific product here you can see that this product name is uh, test product and the description is this is a simple product or maybe uh, test product description but I have actually modified uh, some code and because of that on transaction details I am only getting the uh, the static string I mean this is the static product title and static product description that is not coming from my original uh, product details all right so this is the reason is uh, actually I had one client and his requirement was like uh, uh, he has some uh, products related to banking and when he was collecting the uh, payments so at the end PayPal was uh, putting the payments on hold why because this is uh, quite risky according to the policy of the PayPal so he's, he uh, told me that I want only uh, the static details here in PayPal receipt and other than that everything would remain same so uh, let me show you how I did actually I, uh, I will complete do the complete thing so for example I am putting here uh, the regular price is 10 I am going to modify it to 8 and let me update it here so here in new tab uh, actually you can see that I have also shown here uh, the checkout page here the same product title is test product alright so let me go to again the shop and here I am going to click on add to cart here we have view cart and let's click on proceed to checkout and I have already filled the details now I'm going to click on PayPal once you are clicking on PayPal and I will complete the payment actually and here you can see that we have this actually I have a sandbox detail for testing purpose just to see the transactions but you can modify it with uh, live so let's click on pay now and it will take a little while to load the payment and then after it will be redirected to the checkout receipt I mean thank you page there you will also get the product name and product uh, quantity and the price you have and the order details overall here we go now you can see that on the checkout receipt you can see that we have test product that was the original title of the product and we have eight US dollars now we are interested to see the receipt so here we have transaction detail I am again going to home and let me log into it and then after I will I will go to open the receipt so here you can see that we have 8 US dollar transaction which was the recent one so here you can see that we have static product title and static description that means we are not passing the actual product title and actual product description alright so I edited that and finally uh, I was successful in customizing this specific code so I think uh, if you have this kind of requirement you can connect me I have added the contact details below in the description so I will solve your problem as well uh, actually it took uh, a little while for me to solve all these uh, stuff so finally I ended with a successful result and if you are thinking this video was useful for you then please like this video also subscribe this channel for more updated videos so thank you once again see you in the next video